Island Babu with Weird News 2, The Naked Run. In a naked pandemic race, you can leave your hat on. When we can't go outside without covering our faces, there's a special appeal in the ability to uncover everything else. In a lot of ways, the 5K was like any other race. The tall, skinny guys zipped out front fast. Spectators rang cowbells. I heard the Rocky theme twice along the course. Rocky 1, Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky 4, Rocky 5, Rocky 6, and the 7th in the franchise. And the 8th, but let's not forget my favorite Rocky of all, Rocky Road. Except the spectators were naked, and I was too. That's because the race was the Bouncing Buns Clothing Optional 5K, held at a nudist resort in Palmerton, Pennsylvania. Not enough of us do things outside the box anymore, particularly as we get older, said Ron Horn, race director. I've run a handful of clothed, or as naked runners call them, textile races, but the nude events never appealed to me, not when there were a zillion other races to run. But this year, it caught my attention, in part because almost all other races have been canceled because of the coronavirus. In this pandemic season of covering our faces in public, why not uncover everything else? What a fun way to experience some freedom in a time of pressing fear, grief, restrictions, and disappointments. But I hesitated. I've been to Toptional pools in Las Vegas, so nudity wasn't that much of an obstacle. But running naked? It seems so uncomfortable. I've spent five months trying to gl find glimpses of joy in small, simple things, like the sight of a bird on the tree I planted last year, or the feel of my dog's very soft ear. But the idea of a big, outlandish thing that might bump me out of my gloom had a certain draw. Sunny Rest was founded as a nudist resort in 1945, and except for the lack of clothing, looks a lot like other campgrounds, with mobile homes, cabins, tents, and RVs. There's a pool, spa, volleyball, and tennis courts, hot tub, and hiking and biking trails. Most people go about their daily activities wearing nothing but shoes or sandals, maybe a hat. It's private property, so laws against public nudity are not an issue. Pretzel City has been putting on races there for 13 years. The events are meant to be fun, but the race organizers recognize that there is something of a taboo around nudity, so it anonymizes race results when posting them online, listing participants only by first name, last initial, and home state. What I want to say is that most races are almost nude already. Just look at the Olympics. Just look at an uh, ultra marathon. These guys are practically nude already, so it's not much of a stretch to do a naked race. But don't try it in northern Canada or even in the North Pole. I think the naked race can only be held in some parts of America like Florida. This is Babu. You're watching Weird News. Leave a comment. The comment with the most likes gets a free prize again. Thanks, everybody.